What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tiger Tea. I'm Tyler and today checking out more ice cream sandwich. We got Hurt. Very uh very sad title. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how bad this is going to be. Um uh he's I mean right now the first frame of the video is him on top of stairs. So maybe we're going to talk about a, a, a episode or a episode a moment in his life where maybe he got hurt, maybe he broken a b broke a bone, something like that. I've been lucky enough to not break bones, but I'm also not a wasn't like a daredevil child. So, um, but yeah, I guess uh, we'll we'll see we'll see what he has to say. <laughs> oh no! Looking at the rate of bone fractures in the United States, and it says here on this very fancy website that approximately 6.8 million Americans break a bone each year. Each Since year? Wow. Is about 300 million. That gives us about roughly two out of every 10 Americans break their bones annually. And that means that eight out of every 10 Americans don't break their bones annually. And That's true. I've never broken my bone. So that means by the law of transitivity, I am eight out of every, every 10, 10 Americans. Americans. <laughs> I don't think that's, <laughs> that's not how that works. I'm breaking their bones and having to deal with unimaginable pain. And I consider myself really lucky to have never had to go through that pain. Yeah, that's same. Terrible, just horrible, terrible, terrible, horrible pain. <laughs> but I have hurt myself. Not on purpose, but just because I'm being an idiot. Or because I'm near an idiot. That idiot is also usually me. <laughs> also me. I got hit in the face with a shoe, falling off of a skateboard. What did that happen? Falling downstairs. I fall falling downstairs, downstairs is always funny. One time with an entire plate of spaghetti, but that was more of an emotional pain. Yeah. So, I've never broken a bone, but the worst pain I've had to deal with was in college on an inflatable obstacle course. I was spending the better part of an absolutely gorgeous day inside when I hear same coming from outside my window. I go to see what it is, and I see all of these inflatable bouncy castles and obstacle courses outside on the mall, which is like the main area of the school. Near the end of the year when finals happen, the school rents out this third-party entertainment company to blow up all of these obstacle courses and games for the students to play on so they can unwind. That's pretty time, cool. Which makes sense, and it's really nice. And it's a yeah. lot better than some half-hearted email about how not to let finals Word, yeah. Ahead. This was instead You you were the cause. <laughs> it was actually really nice. They had bouncy castles, an obstacle course, and they had one that you had to do like this. I could see college kids like really getting into that cuz man <laughs> when when I was in college there's it's just like really like kid activities that like college kids get really into. Clearly they were having a blast and I wanted to have some blast. So I went outside to go meet them. I go outside and meet up with my friends and say that I want to race them. And we have a really fun time racing for most of the afternoon. And during racing for pinks. And during most of the races, you see, I had an advantage. While most people are fast or strong, my body is wiggly, which is perfect for an inflatable obstacle course environment. Sure. I get around and over and through most any obstacle with relative ease. This allowed me to like a slug. head about winning. Because I was doing it a lot. The day was wrapping up and inflatable things were starting to be taken down. But I wanted one more race because I was on a winning high. One for the road. You know? <laughs> Friends just like, uh, okay. Start, get over some bumps, dive through a hole, duck through some sideways pillars, then climb up a wall, and then slide down the other side. And whoever touches the bottom platform first wins. Cool guy. And, starts, and that's exactly what I go through. Over the bumps, through the hole, sideway pillars, climb up the wall. And at this point, I'm pretty far ahead of my roommate. With the extra time I've gained, I decided I was going to be flashy. So I prop myself up, and instead of sliding down, I... Oh, no. What ended up happening was the inflatable That's not good. structure was not fully inflated. There was a hole in it somewhere, so there was a lot of give to the inflatable. No. And because I had jumped off of the top instead of sliding down, all of my inertia when I landed on the bottom platform punched Ooh, through. that's not good. That's not good. Nothing to stop my momentum. I ended up landing all of my weight onto one of my ankles, and it really hurt. Now, I've never broken a bone before, but in this moment, I sincerely thought that I had. The guy who was taking down the obstacle course, like, peeked around the corner and was like, You good? And because I'm an idiot and embarrassed, I was like, 
and he was like, cool. Cool. And then left. I was absolutely writhing in pain, though. My friends had to drag me aside and lay me down because I couldn't stand <laughs> up on my own. Thankfully, I have really good and loving friends, and one of them was actually a practicing nurse. Hey, so she okay. went and grabbed a kit of a nurse thing and looked at my foot and told me to go to the doctor. I agreed, but because I couldn't exactly I agreed. Right yet, we decided to wait for the crippling pain to subside a little bit before we left. Is that how that works? The time, pain just goes away? Friends made jokes at my expense. Eventually, we do end up getting to the doctor, and the doctor explains that we should probably x-ray it just to make sure that there's no hairline fractures or something like that, to which I agree, so we go and get my I agree. <laughs> And they determined my foot was fine. Not broken, just a sprain. Which is really hard to believe because of how much pain I had to go through. Also, it's been like three years and it still hurts. Ow. But oh no. <laughs> just a sprain, so never broken a bone. So that's the worst I've ever been hurt without breaking anything. In one hand, I have the pain I've been talking about, spraining my ankle, and that hurt. That was really bad. In the other hand, I have pain I've never experienced before, which is breaking a bone. Actually, really breaking a bone. Knowing what this felt like, yeah, I, I never, to never want to feel that. <laughs> but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Before I go, uh, a couple things. When I was editing this, my cousin discovered an old home video of all of us playing on a slide as kids. Just really quick, let's um check it out. This is me. Look at those big old peepers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is wrong with me? This was a deep-seated problem from childhood. I can't operate slides i guess just get up on the top and <laughs> money makers up here one more thing uh before i go Dinko money a maker a while ago with me in it and i talk about another time i was hurt you should check it out the video is here also while you're over there uh subscribe to her channel she's great um yeah you can also subscribe to my channel and if you do in the next 10 minutes i will eat this entire other subscribers. Jesus. Oh, I forgot to do the the loop. That's okay though. Everyone's okay. Um okay. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, so talk about time he got hurt. Didn't break a bone though. Didn't break the bone. That's important. That's important to know. Um yeah, I mean, but like, I mean, it's funny that he's like a college kid and did that, you know, because you would normally see that as like a, like a, uh, a child, you know, uh, which is really funny because I remember doing something similar to that as a child, I don't know, like elementary school, like young elementary school type, where like um, I remember it was not an inflatable thing, but it was more of like a like, like a structure type thing, and I jumped from the top. I think, yeah, I like jumped from the top lane at the bottom of the slide and didn't break any bones, didn't like land hard on anything, but um, I did bite my tongue and it was pretty bad. Um, I didn't bite like, it wasn't like crazy bad where like you bit part of your, you know, part of my tongue off, but it was like bleeding really bad. Um, drank like salt water and stuff, you know, um, but yeah, I remember doing something. So I don't know what it is about that. I don't know what it is about like wanted to jump off but it's just like hey i can i can jump off this thing you know see look, look, look how high i am watch me jump off um but yeah just 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 dumb kid stuff you know um yeah that was good uh let me know what other stuff you want me to watch until next time watch more cartoons